Hi, this is Mr. Kohler. I want to thank you for joining me for this video about the safety vestibule procedures for Atascocita Middle School. We are thankful to the humble Atascocita and Kingwood community for supporting the 2018 bond referendum so that Umbel ISD secondary schools could have these secure vestibules to add a layer of safety in hardening the building, which means restricting access to visitors and some customers as a result of school violence in America. The secure vestibule construction began in late July, early August 2018 and was completed in February 2019. Increases in safety measures, for example, as seen with the Transportation Security Administration, also known as the TSA, which serves the authority over security of citizens traveling in the United States, most notably for flight security checkpoints in our airports, often leads to inconveniences. Well, the purpose of this video is to clearly communicate expectations and procedures regarding movement in and out of the secure vestibule for students, parents, staff, and visitors. With some procedures, we must be cognizant that this increased security may have some ripple effects, which can be an inconvenience to our staff and our customers. So I'm standing at the front entrance along the Circle Drive along Westlake Houston Parkway. In the past, AMS staff had the ability to lock and unlock exterior doors through a roll bar. Um, in order to secure the building and make it safer for all students, no longer do district staff, including AMS staff, have the ability to lock and unlock these exterior doors. The only entry in and out of AMS is through these access card sensors. This door is the primary point of entry for all parents and visitors. Students are able to go through the doors along the bus lane um, between 8 and 8.30 because they are monitored by AMS staff during that time. But once the bell rings for all students to be in class at the designated time, at that time any students who are arriving late to school must come through this front entrance. But any parents, visitors, and students that come after 835 do come through this front entrance. So I'm standing inside the front entrance in the foyer area. One of the primary reasons why a parent might come to AMS is to drop off a forgot, forgotten item or lunch for their child. So between the hours of 830 and up until lunch, your child's lunch, um, you can come into this foyer area without going into the secure vestibule area and you can drop off these forget items for your child. I must mention that all of this information um, for the drop-off procedures for lunches and forgotten items is on the district website, so anything that I say here you can um, get greater detail on the website. But when you come in to drop off something um, for your child to be delivered to lunch, um, you will come in and you will grab one of these orange slips out of the box. You'll fill out their first and last name, their grade, and which lunch they are in. And this information is extremely important. You fill out A, B, C, or D lunch. If you don't know which lunch um, your child is in, um, you'll want to either speak with your child prior to that and find out one, which lunch they're in, or you can access Home Access Center and see your child's schedule because we have a list of all of the teachers and which lunch they have, A, B, C, or D. So when you access Home Access Center, find your child's fourth period teacher, then you can look up on this poster and see if they, which lunch they are in. We deliver um, these cards to your child during their respective lunch. If any child brings an item um, that needs to be delivered in the afternoon, we do not deliver um, items in the afternoon, non-emergency items. So you'll have to develop a routine so if your child has a sporting event after school where they need something or if they have a club or organization, they will need to um, find an adult after school um, to walk into the secure vestibule area and retrieve the item off of the carts um, that they would need for after school. Since we are an institution that is focused on learning, it's very important that we minimize the number of interruptions to the classroom because by minimizing interruptions and distractions, we can increase the likelihood of greater levels of teaching and learning. So once again, if there are any more information that you have, um, you please go to our website um, and look under the information tab to see more about drop-off procedure of forgotten items. Thank you. I am standing inside of the secure vestibule area, and if you are coming up to the windows inside of the vestibule, my guess is you probably need to speak with someone um, inside of the building. 
If you need to meet with someone, please be prepared um, by having your driver's license, um, your student's name, first and last name, and grade level, who you wish to speak with, and if you have an appointment. Also, please be prepared to share um, a very brief description of your visit. You do not need to share details. Just share with us, is this, um, you need to speak with the assistant principal about an academic concern, or a safety concern for your child, or a behavioral concern. But please give a brief description to the ladies at the front desk of your needs. Please understand that one of the roles of the ladies at these windows is not to collect and distribute money. If you would like to put money on your account, we encourage you to go to through the district website or the AMS website to the school cafe website to go ahead and put money on your child's account. Um, there are many opportunities um, through the RevTrack system on the AMS website where you can make payment for various clubs, organizations, um, school apparel, um, and even paying for fines. Um, but if you do need to give money to a specific person on our campus, please understand that our ladies will not collect that and distribute because they do not have receipt books to do that. But you would need to make sure that that staff member is prepared, um, such as the librarian, um, to be available so that when you bring that, that you would uh, be escorted to the library and make that um, payment in the fine um, in person. So please understand there are ways um, online through technology to make payments. Um, please understand that when you come, um, you will not make payments um, at the window. If you are here to visit with an administrator, um, please understand that we schedule um, our days so we can maximize the amount of time um, that we are in classes to support teaching and learning. So if you do come, um, hopefully you do have an appointment. But if you do not have an appointment, please make sure you mention that um, to the ladies at the windows. Um, if you have an emergency, um, we will have either an administrator or an assistant principal secretary come out and speak with you um, to gauge um, and collect more information about your need. And we will um, address those things um, that, uh, that are a safety concern for your child. If you are a teacher and need to speak with a teacher, um, hopefully you've scheduled an appointment with that teacher because they only have one conference period for today and many times they are either working with uh, other members of their team or working with other staff to support teaching and learning for your students. If you are here for the library, um, we would have the librarian come to the door and escort you to the library. If you are here for an ARD, a parent meeting, or a Section 504 meeting, the Assistant Principal Secretary would come um, to the vestibule area and escort you to the area um, that you would need to be in. If you are here to see the nurse um, about a sick child, um, also another school official would escort you um, to the nurse's area. Please understand these are one of those conveniences, inconveniences that we have um, due to the increased safety measures that once someone um, enters into the main part of the building, we want to make sure that an AMS staff member escorts you to that location. So I'm standing at the door from the secure vestibule area into the main part of the building. Um, only district staff that have access control uh, with this access control um, pad will be able to enter into the main part of the building. But if you come to visit with someone inside of the building and you've checked in with the office, uh, our goal is to uh, meet with you in a timely manner. Um, so someone from our campus staff will come to this into the secure vestibule area and escort you into the main part of the building to the area that you need to go. So I'm standing in the main hallway um, looking into the secure vestibule area. And primarily only adults are able to move from the main hallway area into the secure vestibule. We want to limit the amount of movement um, from the main building into the vestibule for the safety of all students. There are some exceptions. Um, there may be times where a child is going from the main part of the building, maybe if they're sick or they're going home, that will join their um, parent or guardian inside the secure vestibule to go home. Or a student aide um, at the direction of um, one of the staff members at AMS with a proximity card controller um, on one of our wooden keys um, may go into the secure vestibule area um, to maybe um, bring a lunch cart to the lunchroom or to do another task that was asked of by a staff member. 
Students in general are not allowed to enter the vestibule area to collect items off of the drop-off cart. Students must speak to their grade level office in order to gain permission to enter into the vestibule. At that time, an adult will either join the students um, in, in going out into the vestibule area or the adult themselves will go into the vestibule area. If a parent needs to see their child, um, an, an adult will escort the student into the vestibule area to speak with their parent or guardian. But then at that time when the child is ready to return into the building, or into their classroom, they will be escorted back by an AMS staff member back into the hallway. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please understand the purpose of this video um, is sharing you the procedures in the secure vestibule because it is for um, hardening the building so that it is a safer environment for your child. We do recognize and apologize that there are inconveniences that come um, with hardening the building and making it more safe for our students. If you have any questions or concerns, I please ask that you email or call me, uh, Mr. Kohler, Carl Kohler, um, with those questions and answers, um, because I am the one who's uh, made the decisions on many of these procedures. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I'd like to thank Marcus and Nicole and our broadcast for not only videoing, but also editing the video for viewing. Thank you very much.